Hey guys, Nick here. Welcome back to The Long Dark, Stalker Custom, Season 1, Episode 62, I believe it is. So here we are in Blackrock Penitentiary's clinic, and we are going to try to make it over to a tower, um, or to the cell block, I guess. We're supposed to be able to find a ballistic vest somewhere in there, so I'm going to give that a try. And then... Once we get done exploring this place and finding that, we need to head on over to mine. And I think that's where we get the recipe for the uh, explosive. Like the uh, improvised explosives. Alright, so let's get going here. Midday. Let's get moving. No time like the present. So we don't have the code for that yet. We haven't checked this area yet. Oh, we can get in here. So this is the, uh, yeah, the steam tunnels. That should take us over to the dam. Like an underground route to the dam. Hope you guys are doing well. I am doing quite well. We survived our little miniature winter blizzard here in Ohio. Had about 9 inches of snow in about uh, 16, 17 hours, somewhere around there, it seemed like. But uh, I'll leave the charcoal there for now. So, we got some gunpowder. I'll come back and get that a little bit later, I think. This ballistic vest is supposed to be pretty heavy, so. Alright, let's get ready. Going out to where some chompers live out here. I'm more of a, I'm going to shoot first and ask questions later when it comes to these chompers. Alright, let's, let's make a run for it. Let's make a run for it. Good. It's a it's a morning run. Haha. <laughs> Probably like myself in here with a whole group of timber wolves, but who knows? Well, that's that rope's new, isn't it? Yeah. Let's give it a shot. See what's at the top here. There's a little watchtower we can access. And yeah, there's like three wolves out there. Regular wolves, not uh, not timber wolves this time. All right, dusting sulfur. A note. Can't tell who's coming and going. Even from up here, it looks empty. But I'm gonna wait it out for a couple days and see if whoever followed me over the river was heading up here too. This place must be cursed at this point. Even a fire couldn't change that. Okay. A little trap door. Does that lead to anything? Does not look like it does. Oh, okay. Anything else? Is that it? Really? I came up here for a note, basically, and some dusting sulfur, which I'm not interested in right now. Yeah, the wolves, look at them. They're standing at attention. I'm just waiting. Just waiting for me. What does that say? Outer security perimeter. Yeah. Can we get in this door? Let's see. No. All right. Well, let's try to. I'm gonna try getting in this little area right here. Okay. What's this? Hmm. That looks interesting. Can I get in there? At all? Does not look like it. Wait, hold on. Wasn't that a gate? Yes, let's try this. No. Oh well, we tried. Definitely not getting in that, even if it was unlocked. It's just, <laughs> it's too much snow. You have to dig it out. Weather's well, starting to get kind of brutal out here. Temperature feel like. Still feels like, with all of our nice clothing, feels like five degrees above. Okay, we're going to do this? For real? You really want to do this? I think I got him. 
<laughs> Judging by that blood, uh, he's not going to be doing too well. Prognosis, not good. Yeah, he's bleeding a lot. Okay, let's see. He's got any friends? What's this over here? Can I get through here? It's like a little secret thing or something. No, does not appear to be so. Okay. Oh, there's an open gate. Yeah, let's try to get through there. You still going? Won't be long before you drop. Oh, let me get inside before he resets. I don't want him attacking me again, me having to shoot him yet again. I mean, I'll do it, but I don't want to waste ammo if I don't have to, right? Okay. Lots of ropes now at the at the prison. These weren't here in story mode, so this is uh, a bit new. I, I don't remember being up here in, in story mode. I think it's probably a last last couple of howls there. If it's, if it's our dog that we shot, or wolf. There he is. Yeah. See, yeah, see, he reset. Now he wants to attack me. Even though he's, like, mortally wounded, he will die eventually. Shot him twice. He almost got me. I'm surprised on that first shot, it felt really good. I'm surprised he didn't turn around immediately from that one. But, uh, this is what it is. Seems like they're getting better and better at completing their charges. Oh, rifle? Oh, it's a rifle casing. We'll take it. Eh, it's getting a little dark in here. I'll probably... While I search, I'll probably turn on the lantern for y'all. See some more casings down here on the floor. Let me go grab these real quick. Oh, no, another one. Feels like I'm being lured into a trap or something. Endless string of casings. What we got here? File cabinets? Probably nothing in these. As I've said many times, these are usually worthless. Cabinets? Okay. Yep. Not much there. Some soda. Ruin, but we can still drink it. Thank you. Take that beef jerky for sure. Perfect. Steel granola bar, fifty-one percent. Oh, hey, more cabinets. Up there, can I get through? Oh, okay. Warden's office. I do remember this. Take that tea. Nothing in the trash can. What about your desk? This will come in handy. Take the matches. I have a habit of just collecting every matchbox and lighter that I see. Both in this game and Project Zonpoid, it seems like. Just can't stop collecting them. No, no, no. Don't do that. What am I doing? There we go. Anything back there? No. Down here? No. Some three and a half inch floppies. Cassette tapes. Old school. Very old school. What have we got in here? A little bed. Some fish. Is that the Riken? Kind of looks like the Riken. Alright, nothing there. Find door number one, nothing. Alright. If I close the door, can I do that? No, it just kicks me out of the bathroom. Wonder what was my door number one. Let's go and get a drink. While we're here, how we doing on? How we doing on uh, water? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and. That's kind of weird because there's no actual clean water reservoir. It's like I'm actually taking the toilet bowl water. But for some reason, it's potable. Doesn't need treated. I'd like to. I'd put a rifle round right up there. Yeah, that's where I would put one. If it were up to me, which it isn't. Is that everything? 
in here again. Let's do a secondary sweep. I think that's everything. Yeah, looks pretty good. Ah. Oh. Going to a different area, it looks like. Downstairs. Okay. Got here. Can we go this way? What's that? Bandage. Antibiotics. Take those. Yeah, I'll just take the antibiotics. Especially when I'm eating sketchy food with reckless abandon. Nothing? Oh, man. There's gotta be a box of ammo around here somewhere. There has to be. Just has to be. I'm telling you. So far, uh, uh, it's, yeah. So far, it's disagreeing. The game is disagreeing with me. Oh, go, you can crawl through there. Nothing over here. This is like a break room? No, not really. Just a regular office. What condition is that bedroom? Maybe. Hold on there. Hold your horses. Stand by on that. Where's our bedroll? It's around here somewhere. Which one is it? Where is it at? It's around here. We did pick it up, right? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> right in front of us. 88%. What was X'd out over here? Like ruined. Oh, that's a soda. Yeah, that's okay. Two of those, yeah. I was carrying around a bunch of ruined clothing or something. Alright, well. Some beef jerky. Thing in the fridge. Not that I can see, really. Newspapers. Metal shelves. We found a lot, lots of casings in here. It's almost like there was a massive shootout. Like a revolt or something. Okay. The furnace room or boiler room or whatever this is. Nothing back there. Oh, some lockers. Lockers are always, always give me a glimmer of hope. Just to let me down. Yet again. It's okay. Honestly, with the amount of stuff that we have, I, I'm not, I can't complain. We're doing pretty well for ourselves. You know? Looked like a, looked like a rifle or a pistol around down there for some reason. It was just a color. Yeah, uh, that little thing down there, that little, like, guide, that metal guide sticking up. I think it's just the color of it catching my eye. What's this? Oh, it's just a torch. It's some accelerant. It's kind of boring. Not really needed. Easy to come by. With the right tools, that is. I feel like we're in the actual main area of the prison. Like the entrance that's been blocked off. Check with guard before proceeding. That seems... Yeah, seems really familiar from the uh, story mode, chapter four there. Yeah, here we go, cell block. Oh, that's good. Marine flare's always welcome. Regular flare, meh. Marine flare, oh yes. Yes, yes. 
A couple cell doors open over here. Yeah, it's just a regular book, I believe. But I can't even get it out for some, some reason. Granola bar, we'll take that. Lots of blood. Lots more blood. Hmm. Okay. Nothing on the bed. Some sardines. Which are probably sketchy as all get out, but I'll take them. Ow! There's the ballistic vest. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Law enforcement body armor, great protection, but very heavy. You won't win any sprints wearing it. I can attest to that. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Painkillers, bandage. I think a painkillers bandage. I think we have plenty of bandages. I will double check that though. Yeah, I got four of those. I really don't need four. I'll drop one of them. There we go. Hey. I think I know you. Alright, is this how we get out? No. Oh no, we have to walk all the way back? Oh, that's... It's gonna get old. Can I just escape or something? Oh, that's too bad. Gotta walk all the way back around, I think. I don't think there's a shortcut. Well, maybe. This one doesn't open, does it? Oh, this one does. What do we got here? A note. We broke into the storerooms. There was lots to grab. More than we expected. From the look of the place, it went real bad here. And I don't think we're the first to get inside. I'm going to scout the perimeter again, just to be sure. See what else you can find, Jay. Emergency stem and a gun locker. Hmm. Just one rifle or revolver round and one revolver casing and can of gun yeah, gunpowder. I'm gonna take that gunpowder because I think we're gonna end up using it to make some noise, some uh, flashbangs or whatever they're called, some boom booms. All right, let's head on back. Well, it should be a little bit quicker going back because. I'm not going to be searching every room like I was on the way in. And I got the ballistic vest. I'll just throw that on and let the uh, wolves hang off of me. You can just, I'll just walk along with them hanging off my arms and my chest and all that stuff. Alright. Yep. Let's head on out of here. Restricted area. Look, kind of look, half looking for a shortcut to get out of here. I don't think we can use That's an elevator. Yeah. Might be able to use it in the, uh... Might be able to use it in the, uh... During the Aurora. Oh, I've already checked back there. Yep, here we go. It's a little claustrophobic... Vent shaft. Oh, hey. I didn't notice that on the way in. Revolver casing. Okay. Just want to make sure that door didn't open. Probably some sort of utility closet. Can't go up that way. Ah, I'm trying. I'm trying to shortcut our way out of here. There's no way. I can't go out a window or anything, huh? Oh, well. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's refill this uh, lantern. Oh, I think the wolf just died. I just heard him like make his little, little death cry. There we go. How many of those we got? We got two of those. Okay. Let's keep moving. A little heavy. It's going to give us uh, problems when we get to the uh, ropes a little bit. There it is. Okay. Kind of hidden. Where did the wolf die at? Not sure. Nope. Still not sure. Anyway, 
I can jump off of here. Man, would have been nice. Okay, no big deal. Looks like some winter weather could be starting to roll in here. You're getting a little bleak. Nope, definitely not going that way. Okay, let's go this way. See how overweight we are. Yeah. Too encumbered to climb down. Oh, there's a wolf. He died over there. Okay, let's see where we're at. 46. That's pretty much the weight of my vest. So let's drop that. I'll come up and get that here in a second. And then let's drop um something else. I don't know. What do you guys want to... Right, let's look at weight here. Uh, The rifle. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. And then I'm going to need to drop like... Six or seven pounds worth of stuff over here, too. So let me drop some stuff here. Uh, not those. This would be a, it's a lot to pick up. Okay, we're down to 27. I should be able to climb up, grab that, and come back down. That's like 10 pounds. We should still be like almost two kilograms under weight. If we hurry <laughs> before I get too tired as she yawns. Okay, I think we're good. Good stuff. Well, we could have some uh, fresh sure I can carry much more. wolf steaks if I wanted them, but honestly, I don't really want to be carrying around a bunch of bloody meat past all those other wolves. Plus, they're uh, pretty plentiful out here, so I don't think we need to worry too much about trying to find wolves to eat. That'd be an interesting mountain to get to the top of. Alex Hummel? Is that... Okay, I think I see him on the side of it. I think he's just up there playing around. Alright, let's be extra careful here. They're calling out like crazy, it sounds like. Might have to shoot a couple. I want to make it back to the clinic, at least. Just another gun. It's coming at me. I think if I walk, I'll be okay. I just didn't want him to be able to cut me off. Hmm. He's taking a sweet time. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, we're fine. I don't think we check, check this. What behind us? No? Okay. Nope. There. Makes me feel even better. <laughs> the wolf has Tourette's. Okay, well, I gotta say, you gotta give him an A for effort. Man, that reminds me of the dog that I had to shoot on duty. That, I mean, that's how it sounded, and that's the way he was at the at this door. He bit his owner, and the owner was laying in the common area of this apartment building, and wasn't letting anybody get to him. He ended up needing like 87 stitches. We got there and that dog was like that. And we, I mean, what I was really afraid of was some kid in a neighboring apartment going, what's all this noise? And have some three-year-old step out and have this dog like go, oh, you're next. <laughs> you know, so I couldn't do like less lethal stuff or mess around like that. It was like, we, had, we, had, we just had to put it down right there. And uh, which is sad, you know, the dog didn't, 
The dog didn't make itself that way. Let's just put it that way. Um, yeah. I don't need to go back in there. Let's head on over to our main base. But uh, that's that's how it was. I mean, it was like that serious. It had intensity. Like <sighs> one track mind intensity. That me and my partner were gonna be next next meal for it. So anyway, it was one of these apartment complexes that was so well taken care of that uh, the, the blood from the uh, from the gunshots from the dog um, stayed on the common area walls for the next two months, two or three months. Yeah, just stayed there and dried, turned brown, turned into brown stains on the wall. Lovely, I know, right? Oh, we can do a little bit of a uh, harvesting while we're here. Let's go and do that. I don't know if this qualifies as indoor or not, but we're gonna harvest up here. Can I use my hands? I can. Let's do that. There we go. Kill some time while we wait. And then I get in there and the owner starts cussing me out. Like he was playing dead. Then I get up there. I, th I thought maybe he was dead, honestly. I didn't know. Uh, he was unresponsive. So, anyway. Um, I get up to him. I'm like, you know, so-and-so. Are you okay? Okay? Because I, I knew who it was from prior calls. And uh, he's like, man, you didn't have to shoot my effing dog. I'm like, so and so, I was, I was aiming. I'm thinking to myself, so and so, I was aiming at you. I accidentally hit the, hit the dog. <laughs> Not really, but uh, when someone cusses at you like that, you kind of come up with these things where you're like, man, really? Come on, I just saved your, saved your life because of a situation you basically created yourself. Walk with this much gear. But the weird thing was after that, complete respect from him. And you always try to test bounds, boundaries and stuff like that before, after that whole incident. Yes, sir. Or no, sir. It was interesting. Yeah, I haven't had a problem with that individual since. I mean, you get the odd calls out there for the same stuff, but yeah, as far as me dealing with them in a professional capacity, no problems. Uh... I don't really want to leave right now. This seems like a bad time to leave. I guess we could go out here and take a peek, do a little reconnaissance. See what we got going on. Yeah. That, that dog was tough though. It took um two rounds for my partner, 40 cal, right in the chest. Two rounds for me and or I'm sorry, one round for me in the chest, and then as it was kind of walking away slowly towards back towards the owner, the incapacitated owner, bleeding owner. Um, it looked back, and I that, that's when I just did a headshot, and it dropped immediately, obviously. But that was that was forty caliber rounds, and it, it it just sucked them up like it was like it was nothing. So yeah, the whole thing where you just shoot shoot something as a threat once uh, and expect it to go down. That's that's Hollywood. Definitely shoot to uh, shoot to neutralize. Shoot to you see it actually drop, and then you can tell your finger to stop pulling. Oh, uh, did I not? Did I take this? I think I took this off, didn't I? Yeah, I need to put this back on. Yeah, there we go. But I was hoping I could go through my whole career without having to ever do that, and uh, that didn't happen. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. So I'm a dog lover. I don't know. All right, enough about that. Let's see here. It's kind of nasty. I say, um, I don't, I don't think I want to take the vest on this mission because I've been up there before, and I know we got a, we, I know, know we have a, I know we have a bear to deal with. But my thinking is, if we have the bear, we also have. Well, I mean, go slice them through all these. Eventually, there we go. Got ourselves a uh, flare gun. How many flares do we have? Flares for the bear. And it should allow us to get past. And then if we have more than one, we could get past twice. So I have one in here, and then I have one extra. And in the mine, I might find an extra flare or two. Maybe. Maybe. But at least we have one for the trip down and one for the trip back. 
There is there's probably gonna be some timber wolves. We got three marine flares for that. We got a couple recycled cans ready to go. And I think we got some food that we can actually eat, turn into recycled cans to make uh flashbangs. So I think that'll be a good plan. And I got some gunpowder. There's probably gonna be some gunpowder or some some sort of explosives in there inside the mine that I can use to make some more. Yeah, we got one of these. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. We're at 40, over 40 kilos. We're only overweight a little bit. I think I need to lay down. Yeah, and she's starting to get tired. Okay. So, um, I think I checked all these cars out here. There's really anything else to do except get some rest here. So let's do that. Go ahead and grab something to eat. You know what? Let's check what we actually have in the pantry here. I'm gonna drink these. Get these cans out of the way. They're, you know, 0.25 kilos each. Plus, that'll give us a little bit of, a little bit of calories, a little bit of drink, a little bit of hydration. Get those out of the way. What else? Oh, here we go. Pork and beans. Yeah, another. 0.25 kilos. Let's get that out of the way. Then we'll have a, a tin can extra. So that'll be a third tin can. Wonderful. Those are sketchy. Uh, I think I'm going to leave those behind. I've been food poisoned from sardines in higher condition than that. Like in when the condition was white, like above 50%. So. I'm not going to risk it. We got plenty of food. We don't need to take those type of chances. We're going to leave behind quite a few of these cattail stocks. But uh, yeah, what's our calorie count at now? A thousand? That's good. Let's go ahead and get another drink here. Top off this a little bit. And I think we'll go ahead and try to get ourselves a solid 12 hours of sleep here, if possible. Man, we got in just in time. How bad is it out here? It sounds bad. It's not. I, mean, I guess it's windy. Yeah, it's just really windy. Interesting. Okay. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Roger that. So I don't think we have anything to read, do we? Oh, we do. Let's read this for an hour. That's all we need, and then we can drop it. There we go. I'm going to drop that fir wood. Drop that book now that we don't need it. Perfect. All right, what's our weight at now? So we'll be a little bit underweight now once we get a full bit of sleep. Yeah. All right, yeah, I think it's time to go to bed. A little bit more water since we've read for an hour. I would like to make it over to that. There's like that cabin that's kind of on the on the lake over there. Kind of want to head over there and then try to do that before the end of this episode. And then see what the weather's like. If we if the weather starts to look real shaky, we might come back here and hole up and try again. Because it's an outdoor cabin. It's not an indoor one. So we're not really fully protected from the weather. All right. Well, let's put this flare gun away. Because I don't want that right now. I'm accidentally. Of course. Accidentally use that. Big drink of water there. All right, let's go. Ooh, this looks um, like something we need to wait out and see what happens with. Because uh, me being unfamiliar with this map and the amount of predators out here, to find food. walking blindly around is a recipe to, looks like I made it through another night. to just end up dead. So let's just uh, hang out here for a minute. Shoot, I got stuff everywhere. I dropped a bunch of stuff on top of the... Top of the uh, 
bedroll now. I can't place it. There we go. All right, let's just pass time here for about two hours, see what it looks like. All right. This doesn't look too hateful. Let's say we make our move. Grab a little something to eat, I guess, probably. No real reason. Yeah, let's have a chocolate bar. Just to take the edge off a little bit. Top off on our uh, water. Okay, we're going to keep an eye on the weather. It starts to get real shady. We'll uh, tuck our tail and run back here. down here. Still so we're in story mode. Right. Now I think that bridge I kept seeing that I could never find on the other side is like right over here. Like right through that way. So I don't see any activity. Oh, I see moose rubbing right there on that tree. So we gotta be a little bit careful about that. Been down that road before. Okay, let's move. That's what a tree looks like that's been had its bark uh, rubbed off by the moose moose antlers. So when you see that, that's that means you're in an area where the moose is likely to spawn occasionally. So just be be a little careful. I don't know if I go up this way or there's some nice birch saplings if we were in the market for those. There's the bridge. All right. Okay, this weather's getting a little bit nasty, and I think it's just going to get worse. Normally, it doesn't kick up like this and then get better all of a sudden. So, yeah, we're heading back. We are heading back. Turn tail and run. Yep. We don't want any part of this. We will hole up here and wait. It came on quick. It came on real quick, didn't it? Do I need to go around? Probably need to go around. Just in case. Just in case it's something uh, bigger than uh, than a wolf. All right, let's run up here. Let me get out of this crap. Oh well, I tried. I was trying, folks. But at least we know we got to go further down to get to the to the bridge. Which doesn't excite me either because I think that's kind of where the timber wolves were hanging out. All right, let's get back inside. All right, folks. Well, <laughs> let's let's just hang out here and wait out the storm a little bit. There's not much really to do, so yeah, just uh, play some cards while we wait. And it's even worse now. I don't get some food soon. Doesn't look any better. Now we're getting to the point where it's starting to get late in the day and I don't really want to travel. Take a look. Yeah, it's starting to look better, but it's not exactly clear skies yet. All right, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end this episode here a little shorter than normal, but uh, yeah, 
let's end this one here. Next episode, we're going to jump off from here and try to make it up to the mine. I may or may not stop by that, that like, um, little cabin out on this small pond. Because I don't know if there's going to be much in there that, can, that we really don't already have. So it might just be more efficient just to take this, take the road and just go straight up to the mine as, basically as quick as possible. So we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess I don't need to, don't need to, uh, save it since I just came in that door. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Stay warm out there.